kiss for you. Welcome to my another video on Android app development and so guys this will be the part 3 of my video series on custom player video player using Android studio alright guys so in our previous video we were working on the touching the videos from the gallery using the content resolver and using the cursor object and now we need to work further okay so now inside our while loop we have set the absolute image path okay so now we need to create a, a model class so let's click on new and click new package and let's create a new package called model okay and click okay and now inside our model uh, package we need to create a java class and let's name the java class as video model okay so here what we will be doing is we will be initializing the variables and uh, doing the getter and the setter of the variables so how can we do that so first of all let's say pub string str path then we need string thumb and then we need a boolean boolean selected alright then we just need to click on generate and now we need to set the getter and setter so let's click on both of these and click ok and now you have a video model class ok so now let's go back to main activity dot java and now here what we are going to do is we are now going to use model sorry video model model equals to new video model and we will try to add uh, okay so how can we do so we can say video model dot set boolean selected and we will pass false here then we can say video model okay let's make a gap here and then we can say video model dot set str path and here we can pass the absolute image path then we can say video model dot set str thumb and we are going to write cursor dot get string and here we are going to pass thumb all right then we need to have an array list so that we add all the data to our array list so we can initialize the array list as array list of type video model and we can name it as array list video okay let's initialize it inside our initialize init method so here we can say array list video is equal to new array list all right now let's go here and now we can simply say array list videos dot add and we can add the video model to our array list all right the next step is now we need to call the adapter class and set it to recycler view okay so here we can say what is the adapter class name okay video adapter so here we can say video adapter video adapter equal to new video adapter and we can say recycler view dot set adapter and we can pass the video adapter here okay so now it is uh, giving an error because we have not uh, write the code inside our video adapter so the next step is we need to write code for our adapter all right so first of all let's extend it okay so first of all the first step is we need to have a view holder class so we can simply say public static view holder 
let's name it as the cycle as view folder and we extend it with okay so before doing that let's first create or let's extend it with recycler view dot adapter and here we can pass video adapter dot view folder okay so now we can class create the public static class view folder and now we can simply say extend recycler view dot view holder okay and here we can generate the constructor so click generate and generate constructor okay so here we will have two things first of all we will have a relative layout and then we will have the image view so here we can say image view and then we can say relative layout or we can name it as r1 select alright so inside our constructor we can initialize the image view equal to image view v item view dot find view by id r dot id dot image view okay so if since we have not created the class so we can just comment it and we can also here say r1 select equal to relative layout item view dot find view by id r dot id dot relative layout okay so it is also not available so we just comment it for now and now we just need to go to our this video adapter class here first of all we can create a constructor so we can say video adapter and here we can pass context and the second one will be the array list of type video model array list videos okay the next step is let's create the context first of all and then we can also create the array list of type video model array list videos and inside our constructor first of all we can say this dot context equal to context and this dot array videos list equal to array list videos all right here now we can create or override them some method so first of all here we have on create view folder then we have on bind view folder all right so what now we will do is we can here say inside our own create view folder class we can say view equal to layout insulator dot from and here we can pass parent dot get context and we can say dot inflate uh, dot layout dot adapter video or we can say custom video and then we can say parent and false okay and then we can also say return new view okay so first of all we can say view folder view folder equal to new view folder and here we can pass the view object and we can say return view folder okay so we can also say return new video adapter dot view folder and here we can pass the view alright 
and after that inside our own bind view holder method okay so let's first of all create this custom video okay so we will create it in our next part of the video okay so let's first of all set the own inside our own bind view holder so we need to use glide library and for that let's create and let's have the glide library or we can also use picasso let's create all right let's just copy that and paste it in our build.gradle click on sync now Okay, now we need to go to build.gradle and here add the maven dependency url jpeg.io let's try it again Okay, so now here we are having same problem. Okay, so the problem was uh, we need to use the HTTPS. Okay, not the HTTP. So let's just try it again and here we are having the still the problem alright guys so I removed the error after I did this I used the 3.7.0 version of the glide so if you just copy that and your error will be removed alright so what we were doing is we were inside our own create view folder and we just created the view and that we needed to create the class custom video so let's create the class layout resource file custom video all right so now you will see that the error is removed but still we have an error i don't know why Okay, let's create uh, rebuild the app okay so now you can see that the error is removed but there we have error inside our main activity and man here activity is because we did not send the argument so here we can first of all send uh, this uh, we I show you the context so you can see the context here here okay so here we are receiving the context and then the array list so we can say get application context and then we can send the array list all right and here inside our get item count method we can say return Arrayless video stored size. All right. So now inside our own bind view holder, we need to use glide. So we can say glide dot width, and here we can pass the context, and we can say dot load, and here we can say file. plus array this videos dot get 
and here we can pass the position and here we can say dot get str thumb and we can also say dot skip memory cache and we do it false then we can say dot into and here we can say folder dot image view all right then we do and then we can say folder dot r1 select dot set background color and here we can say color dot pass color all right so now our code is complete but we need to create the or write the code for the custom video dot xml okay guys so we will do that in our next part of the video if you like the video please like share and subscribe good